Astronomers have conjectured about exoplanets for centuries, since the Milky Way galaxy alone contains between 100 and 400 billion stars. It seems unlikely that our solar system is the only one to contain a planetary system. However, the discovery of exoplanets has only been confirmed in recent years by astronomers. Exoplanets are verified by a variety of techniques, the majority of which are indirect in nature. The following method has been used to find more than half of the exoplanets ever discovered. The transit method. While the radial velocity method can determine a planet's mass, the transit photometric method can determine its radius. The first transit photometry detections were made in 1999. When a planet passes in front of its parent star's disk, the observed visual brightness of the star decreases slightly, or dims, depending on the relative sizes of the star and the planet. The amount a star dims during a transit is proportional to the size of the star and the planet. A small planet passing through a large star causes only a slight dimming, whereas a large planet passing through a small star causes a more noticeable effect. Transits can assist in determining a variety of exoplanet characteristics. The size of the exoplanet's orbit can be calculated by calculating the time period it takes to orbit once and the size of the planet itself can be calculated by calculating how much the star's brightness has been reduced. These changes in brightness are characterized by very small dips, and for fixed periods of time, usually in the neighborhood of one ten thousandth of the star's overall brightness, lasting only a few hours. Once captured, light can be probed to determine the composition of exoplanet atmospheres. Consider a prism. When you shine white light through it, it splits the light into a rainbow spectrum. The color bands of this spectrum can be read by scientists like a barcode, revealing which molecules are present. It's a technique known as transit spectroscopy, in which light from a star travels through the atmosphere of an orbiting planet and reaches our telescopes in space or on the ground, telling us where it's been. The transit timing variation method takes into account whether transits occur with strict periodicity or whether there is variation. When multiple transiting planets are detected, the transit timing variation method is frequently used to confirm them. Transit duration variation refers to changes in the duration of the transit. Exomoons absolutal precession for eccentric planets caused by another planet in the same system, or general relativity, can all cause duration variations. This method is used to detect planetary systems with binary stars. It is a particularly useful method for space-based observations that can stare at stars for weeks or months at a time, although it can be useful for ground-based telescopes as well. This method is good at determining diameter, but bad at determining mass of the planets. Transit photometry searches can operate on a massive scale. Transit surveys, both ground-based and space-based, can observe up to 100,000 stars at once. The main issue with the transit photometry method is that a transit must occur in order for the photometric effect to be measured. A distant planet must pass directly between its star and Earth. Not all planets orbiting other stars transit their stars as seen from Earth. Another issue is that a planet's transit only lasts a fraction of its entire orbital period. A planet's orbit may take months or years to complete, but the transit is likely to last only hours or days. As a result, even if astronomers observe a star with a transiting planet, it is extremely unlikely that they will witness a transit in progress. Because the smallest stars can have diameters similar to giant planets, the transit photometry method frequently produces false positives. Despite its disadvantages, this method is used to find more than 3,900 planets to date, and it will help to detect many more in the future. Instruments of Detection The Kepler Space Telescope heralded the modern era of planet hunting. 
Kepler entered an Earth-trailing orbit and focused its attention on a small patch of sky. It had been staring at that patch for four years. There were 150,000 stars in that small patch. Kepler was on the lookout for tiny dips in the amount of light emitted by individual stars caused by planets passing in front of them. In its lifetime, Kepler observed 530,506 stars and detected 2,662 planets. The transit technique is used by NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which was launched in 2018. Spitzer and Hubble Space Telescopes have been used to discover exoplanets and learn more about their characteristics. The James Webb Space Telescope is now ready to probe the atmospheres of the exoplanets using the transit method. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to the channel.